Hello, happy Sunday, and welcome to another live stream. I am so excited to hang out with you guys today. I'm looking forward to it, and I am going to be, hopefully, fingers crossed, finishing up this Lady Death cover. So, I'm just cleaning up some of my files, moving some things I don't need. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so, as is common practice for me, what you guys saw me working on last time as far as color scheme, I got a different idea <laughs> after the live stream and I started over. So I changed the color scheme on this one and I'm going to be using some of the colors that I had planned on this version for the main version. So I'm going to be working on a little bit of both today. I'm finishing up this one and then I am uh, preparing the line art on the other version. So um, this is where I'm at and I still need to finish coloring up the um, the wall and the background and adding some glow and all of those fun things. So I saved this to work on with you guys so that you know you could see the finishing um, you can see the finishing touches as opposed to you know, the starting and the, the uh, difficulty that that part is in general. You know, it's not, the flats are just not attractive. Let's just put it honestly and bluntly. <laughs> and so, um, hopefully you like this version. Tanya, Mr. E, Troy, hello. Okay, so I'll show you guys where this one is. This is the naughty version. I have turned off the nips, so I keep them on a separate layer while I'm live streaming so that I can turn them off and not get in trouble. Hello, Anthony, Keeman, Stanley. So um, this is where I'm at on this one. I have not put in all the cracks yet. I'm working on the cracks and putting in the shadows and the highlights of those now. See, I wanna get some cracks in the wall and you know, then her, she still needs some side glow. I want to fix the color hold. So there's a lot of the little finishing touches, but at least while you're looking at the finishing touches, it's not a catastrophe, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so anyway, this is where I'm at on it. I went sparkle crazy. Um, I used to have red ruby stones. I may use those in the main version. Um, but for this one, I decided to almost do those sort of holo not holographic color, but you know what, you know, it's kind of a mixture of teal, purple, pink. So the, the, uh, the stones have teal, blue, purple, and pink in them, just to give them kind of that color change effect, hopefully. <laughs> hello, Edson. Philip White Eagle, hello and welcome. Rob. Matthew, hi! Carmen, hello, hello! Thank you all so much for joining. It is greatly appreciated. Um, so I'll show you guys a little things, a few little things I did with her skin. Um, for this one, because it's all kind of soft toned, I went with pink lips. Um, and I tried something new this time. I miss you too, Matthew. I hope to see you at a show sometime soon. My goodness be so awesome. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Hope the dog is doing well. I'm terrible with names. I can't remember his name, but your dog is beautiful. So um, I went with a um, pink lip tone on this one. Um, since the line art, I moved her nose up just a tiny bit. I felt like it was a little low. And then I've put some sparklies on her skin to just give her a little bit of shimmer and glow. Um, and then the stones are kind of, you know, I don't know. And then I drew a bunch of extra strings on there just for more places to put sparkle because we love the sparkle. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Mr. E. I'm so glad you like the color choices on this one. Yay. Okay, and then my plan for the main version. So I've been working on it, as you can see. Uh, it's still in the line art because I'm working on the patch. So this one, um, my color plan for it is gold. Um, that blue is just from the other one, the other swatch. 
So um, this one is going to be gold and think like champagne and diamonds is what I have in my mind for this one. And then if I'm feeling really ambitious, I might carry over the, the rubies that I had planned and also make an alternate white and ruby dress. I don't know. I may or may not have time for that. It would be cool if I did. This is definitely my second favorite of all your backgrounds. Well, thank you, Steve. Is your top favorite the um, Halloween one? If so, you're such a sweetheart. Okay, so um, today I'm gonna work on the um, stone with you guys, the stone wall in the background. And see, the thing that was really tripping me up is because in my art, art notes, the, the thing for this one was to give her, um, to have her in sort of a nighttime cathedral scene, right? Um, and so nighttime cathedral, you think of candles. Now I have already drawn a cover for Lady Death. The very first one I ever did actually was her also in a cathedral setting with candles. Um, and that time it wasn't in the art notes, I don't think, I just kind of did that. Um, and the way that I had the two different versions. Sabine colored it, but my art note was, well, that I sent for colors was the main version have the candles lit and the alternate version have the candles out. So it'll be a darker, more moody night scene. Now, this one, I'm trying to think of an alternate color version because usually for the alternate outfit, you change the overall color scheme, right? And I was so stumped of how am I going to do this with turning, not turning out the candles. A flame is always yellow for the most part. And I wasn't remembering that there's also times where the flame is blue. <laughs> Completely forgot about blue flame. So then I remembered it after the last live stream. So that's why you guys didn't see it. But I made blue flame this time. Sorry, my computer's chugging. I'm going to have to close the other. I'm gonna have to close this version. Uh, yes, save. Okay, I've just gotta close this version because it's uh, chugging my computer right now. Um, so what I decided to do is blue flame and then this kind of glow smoke stuff kind of looks a little bit like Lady Death's blue power. I made it purple here, but that was a surprise because actually I had it on a glow layer and it turned purple. So I was like, well, okay, we'll roll with it. So um, that's what I'm doing here. And I'll probably, you know, I may try to punch out that blue a little bit more. Um, I'm still trying to decide what to do there, but I'm going with like cool color flame as opposed to the warm yellow candlelight look. Jeff Martin, hello, Nader, hello, Mr. E, thank you so much for putting the Divinica Launch special book. Thank you so much. There is a 50% off coupon for my Twitch viewers on one very special book. So click on that link. We have never done that cover as a holofoil before. Let me get the holofoil paper so you guys can see it. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. This is what the paper looks like. So it kind of catches the light fun. <laughs> so we have that cover as a hall of foil for my Twitch viewers. JP Roth is so awesome. So anyway, um, if you would like that cover, it's 50% off for this week only. Okay. Louise, thank you. Hello, what the fan art. Welcome to the stream. All right, so I've tried a bunch of different colors for her outfit, um, and I feel that this one kind of looks the best, and once her nips are on, which I have turned the nip layer off, as I will get banned on Twitch, and my live stream will be uh, cut short on Facebook if I show you those, so I can't. Um, Yes, I'm, I'm still working on it, Philip White Eagle. I, uh, I guess you missed that at the beginning. I still do need to put the glows and the rim lights, but right now I'm going to be working on the uh, stone. 
So um, the stone in the background is what I'm working on right now. So I'm just going to select the wall. And I'm working on adding in the cracks. So, you know, the cracks have depth and all of that when you give them shadow and highlight. So that's what I'm working on right now. And um, I'll get to all the other things later. All right, so I have not been working on this one right now. So I'm just gonna grab that dark blue. So what I did is I took a textured brush that kind of had you know, it's got this kind of look to it right down here. And now what I'm doing is just kind of uh, using some of that texture and making it look like cracks and drawing into that texture. So I'm just going to get to the wall thing. And right now I'm using the darker color. And I'm just drawing in some cracks kind of following the, the texture that that one brush had. So it really makes my life easy. Because the one thing that is, I think, tough with the human brain is, or maybe it's just mine, it could be just mine, is that you end up with these situations where your brain instinctively starts making order in the chaos. <laughs> but when it comes to cracks and texture on a wall, and you're not going for ordered bricks, for instance, your brain, at least my brain, will start making things look too symmetrical, too even. You can start noticing little patterns in stuff, and I don't want that. So that's why I found a texture brush that's super random, and I'm working within that as kind of like a base framework for me to draw cracks over, and that for me, it really helps. Okay, just getting a few more of these. And then, you know, I'll put highlights on these cracks too, like those ones up there. But right now I'm just using the dark blue color that I have. Now I'll grab that highlight tone and start putting a few highlights. I see what's going on. I was on the wrong layer. Hello Fabrizio, good to see you too. Bobby Piper, thank you so much for asking. So this is going to be, as far as I know, a Swornfest exclusive. So Swornfest 2022. Um, it will be released by Coffin Comics. Um, you can find them on Facebook um, under Lady Death Universe. And um, this one will be an exclusive there. I don't know um, if they'll have a way that you can get it um, if you're not going to Swornfest, but it's very possible. You can just subscribe to their email list and I'm sure they'll keep you posted. 
The family is doing well, Philip. Thank you. Jeff, hello. Get a little bit more of these cracks put in. Hello, Kieran. Happy Sunday. Oh, yay. Okay. Well, that's awesome, Bobby. Well, it'll be out. Um, I guess February 2022. So I work a little bit more in advance. Um, well, not just me. Coffin Comics works very, very far ahead of schedule, which is really awesome. Then there are no rush deadlines and crazy cramming, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, so once I'm done with this, I'll be sending it off to them and then, you know, what happens after that is up to Coffin Comics. never fun, Rob. It's not as fun as it sounds. <laughs> At least not for me. <laughs> Come on. I don't know why it's always so slow for the shrink and enlarge. All right, so I'm not going to do tons more cracks down towards the base, at least not a ton of highlights. I think some shadowed portions, but I'm going to, I don't know, I guess I'll see how the, the cracks look once I start um, adding in the shadows. I'll see how highlights look. Might be a little bit too much. check and see all right i'm gonna get very up close and personal with you guys for a second yeah i needed to turn down the light it's making me hard to see um the screen with a bright light in my face so i'm just gonna fix my cam right now um uh, brighten this up for you guys without me having a bright light in my face <laughs> Sheila, hello. All right, there we go. Done. All right, now I can see a little bit better. I don't have such a bright light in my face. Hi, Dave Merritt. Happy Sunday.
I really hope that your treatment goes very, very well. way you could do a cover tribute for breast cancer that's a great idea Becky um as far as those kind of decisions I'm I'm uh, doing this as an illustrator I'm not in charge of those kind of de decisions for coffin comics And then I'll go in and uh, make some, I'll put in a little bit more shadow and highlight with a softer brush. Right now I'm just really focusing on the cracks as it were. And now I'm just going to make the highlight color a little bit darker for down here. You know what? I'm not entirely sure how many layers. Well, all these layers underneath are all pre-selection so that I can just point and click really quickly to get around having to deal with all the hair. Then a lot of these are duplicated skin layers so that I can use it for an alternate cover. Like I'm working on two covers at once. So um, as far as the layers, yeah, probably around 15, 10 or 15 that are actually in use. Oh, thank you, Becky.
<laughs> Two different companies, what the fan art. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to um, put some darker shadow around the windows, like the window frames. So, get the hardness up a little bit higher. There we go. Needed a nice, sharp shadow going down the sides. All right, something kind of like that. Hmm. All right, so, and I might put some glare on the window. So I'll show you guys some of the other glows. I think I might still have a glow idea. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm thinking, like her skin needs rim lights on it and all of that. So this was my rough sketch for the glow I'm gonna put on Lady Death. So I'm gonna do that once I'm done with the background. So I'm working on the background right now and then we'll work on, you know, fixing up and making this glow more precise and actually putting it on Lady Death. So this is just my rough idea of it. Um, but yeah, something kind of like that. Hanuso, hello! Okay, so I'm just going to turn off that glow for right now because we're still working on the wall. Just going to do a quick save. Quick save is necessary or we're going to lose work. I need to learn how to do different versions with the same pose. It's difficult. Oh my god, Sheila, it is the biggest pain in the ass. I'm telling you, when, when I get a cover that no patch, which is what these are called, no patch is needed, I just heave a massive sigh of relief. <laughs> They're not fun. Okay, um, let's see. Tranquil Mist, hello, welcome to the stream. Now, if you can get a print that will twinkle on and off. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. All right, so for now, actually, I think I'm going to leave the wall. I don't know how much more I really want it to have, and I, uh, I don't necessarily want to go too far with it. I'm trying in this one, even though you might not believe me with how much sparkle there is, I'm really trying to exercise restraint. I think I overcolor. And so in this one, my task for myself is to have some restraint and not just go completely batshit on the coloring. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Like, it's actually pretty hard not to overcolor something. So I'm trying not to overcolor. Uh, no, Fabrizio, I don't know what kind of cover this one is coming out on. The foil cover that I'm talking about, the hollow foil one, is a Divinica book that we have a special 50% coupon on the website. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> All right. Do I have her? Oh, yes, I knew something was missing. Her, her, um, I had must have turned off her blush because I was working on her nose a little while ago and I didn't turn it back on. Oh, okay. I thought she was looking a little weird. I'm like, what is wrong with Lady Death? <laughs> and it's because I had forgotten to turn back on her blush. Okay. 
I think I was a little too restrained on the shadow from these stones. I think I might want to put a little bit more shadow. And then I've got glows. All right, we can do this. <laughs> Hello, unnamed knight. <laughs> I know. She's got so much color in her cheeks. <laughs> Sheldon, hello. Happy Sunday. Okay, so let's work on the glow for Lady Death. Um, I'm wanting something kind of like that, where she's got a little bit more shine on her. There are some rim lights. We don't really necessarily know where they're coming from. Probably the candle. Um, something like that. So I'm just going to turn on my swatches for a second. Grab that blue, but I'm going to take it a little bit more over to the purple. Okay. Now, I'm going to start doing some glows. So this is the glows copy. This is kind of what I want to do. She needs a little bit more kapow. So glows copy. I think I'm going to take up the hue and saturation a little bit more. Yeah, I'm just punching up the color a little bit. <laughs> no, no. He's not, Philip. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I have Lady Death and her, her skin and her hair in like a quick selection grab. So, see, I... Um, Basically, once I'm done with the flats and they're all set up the way that I want, I will take certain areas, like Lady Death's skin, for instance, and um, I will f fill a layer with black. And then I can just press Control, click, and I have everything selected. Or like all of these stones, which, you know, going around and selecting each one just takes forever. So I have all these layers here that you're seeing at the base. These are all quick selections where everything is in one spot and I can just grab them quickly. It's maybe not the best way to do it, but it works for me and it saved me hours and hours of time collectively from having to go around and click everything. Especially when there's like so much detail on a cover, it really makes a difference. So now it is time to add glow and we're going to just do a new glow here because I want rim lights on Lady Death. So I'm going to set this to screen. I'm going to set my color to color dodge and yes, we're good to go. All right. So I'm just going to start putting some rim light all along the edge of the cover like that. Presumably, it's picking up light from the candles. I mean, they're not that bright, but you know, whatever. Don't think too hard about it. Just enjoy the kapow. a little bit more hard brush than I wanted. I'm probably going to have to do something to make those candles glow a little bit more brightly to answer for all of this <laughs> glow that's showing up on her body from nowhere right now. So now I'm taking the brush hardness way down so it's like a nice soft brush. I'm taking the opacity down because we're just going to get some pretty shine on her body. Because why not? Get 
them on his thigh. Good, good. to the stream. How's it going? Perhaps a little bit softer on that. Maybe. Hello, Juan. Welcome to the stream. Oh, yay, Carmen. I'm glad you like it. I was hoping you would. Vlad, hello, David Ray, hi, welcome to the stream today. Huh. All right, that might be a little harder than I intended, so I'm gonna just try erasing real quick. There we go. Yeah, all right, and then I'm taking the opacity down a little bit and the brush hardness we're just gonna get a little bit softer situation going on now okay now um so this is what we've done so far we've just given her some rim light um, and now I'm going to actually start putting some glow. So I've deselected. I don't have any selection on right now. And it's going to make it so that I can do some like pretty purple highlights in her hair. I can just kind of go around and actually do some glow that's coming out from the actual outline of her body. I don't know. Lady Death looks best to me anyway when she's got a little bit of a glow coming off of her. I mean, she is so very light that at least this helps her pop from the background a bit more in my opinion. I don't like that over there, so I'm just going to erase it a little bit. It's a little too obvious right here. Just erasing into that. I don't think I like this over here either. Whoops. Let me erase some of that. Now I'm just going to just try this really quickly. I don't know 
No, that's too much. Okay. Ew, Juan. <laughs> Maybe just maybe I want to turn this a little bit more perf more blue. Let's try it. Oh, that's more pink. That's more blue. Before, after. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go more blue. Yeah, all right. Switched it to being a little bit more blue. Okay. gone really dark again. What is going on with my camera today? I guess I just have to turn the light up a little bit more. Bummer. Too bright. Okay. Think that is good on there. Quick save. I'm just gonna make some notes. I generally always have a little notes file for myself for any changes that I need to do. So I'm just trying to write them down so that I don't forget them. Okay, I think I should put shadow, drop, shadow on forehead. I mean, for now, that might be it. So, I guess I'm just gonna name this layer. Body glow, all right. I'm gonna get rid of this glow's copy. Oh, yay, Alan, I'm glad. Glows. White stone sparkles. Color holds, yes. So the color holds need to be worked on. And lip shine. So I keep everything separate so that I can use this stuff for the other version. A lot of these ones I would um, I would merge a lot of these layers together, but then it makes it a little a lot more difficult for me to switch all the colors around because sometimes you go to switch something red, but the other color ends up turning green if you have multiple colors on the same layer. So that's why I keep a lot of things separate so that I can change everything around and then I'll start merging things once it's you know going to stay in any specific way. All right, so I'm gonna go down to drop shadows. So I've got these here. And I need to add a little bit more drop shadows. What is this layer? 
Okay, so the wall I'm gonna put all together. That merge layers. That is so awesome, Alan. Thank you, Sheldon and Stephanie. Yay! I'm selecting her skin again because I think that the the little stones that I have going across her forehead still look a little bit like they're stuck on um, so I'm gonna work in the drop shadows for a minute I'm just gonna turn off the glow layer on her skin come on so annoying get it the drop shadows are under her skin sparkle and that's what's making it so you don't see them aha so I just moved the drop shadow layer to above the little bit of skin sparkle that I have going on and now many of our problems are solved <laughs> hooray Thank you, Peter Wise. A little bit more here. Just make the brush slightly bigger. <laughs> Absolutely not, Juan. <clears throat> okay, so what I have on Lady Death, and this is not, this is a little bit of a hack that I figured out for myself. I don't know if everybody likes it or if it works. Hey, Tom, welcome to the stream. But what I do is I put a color over all the gray tone that I'm doing for Lady Death, and you know, like this, her skin can look a little dull and gray, but that's really what her skin color is. She is white hair, white skin. And so a way that I feel looks nice to make her look a little bit more luminous, pick up whatever the ambient light source is, um, <clears throat> depending on what the ambient lighting is, I will create a flat layer um, like this. So this time it's like a lavender tone and I've set it to color dodge. Sometimes I set it to overlay. I try a bunch of the different layer settings and just see which one looks best for whatever cover I happen to be working on. And it's just over the skin layer and it just makes her pop a little bit more. So this is without it and then this is with it on and it's just set to 14 percent so i just take the opacity way down and it just gives her skin that little oomph so you know sometimes it'll be yellow sometimes it'll be blue it really just depends on whatever color the rest of the cover is and so that's how i help her sort of do, have a little bit of like a undertone of whatever the ambient light source is Can so go for a two hamburger night? <laughs> so I don't know if that will help anybody. Um, 
Lady Death is, is definitely not super easy to color. So this is one way that I think I've found as far as, you know, helping her have a little bit more of an inner glow light source life to her. I have not, Raymond. All right, so for all intents and purposes, I think that this one is complete. Um, you know, I'm gonna sit on it, <laughs> see what else I can think of that needs to be done, but you know, I could add a lot more glow into the lights, I mean, into the windows, make them pop a little bit more, but at the same time, the windows are not important. I actually may try to blur the entire background and just have her more in focus than the rest of it. So that might be something I'm going to try. It's a little tricky. I might have to do it once I flatten the whole thing. Um, but I don't want the background to compete with her, so I'm kind of under coloring the background a little bit. So we're gonna save this and we're gonna move on to the other version. And what needs to happen is I need to um, finish the, I need to keep, I need to combine the patch with the actual line art, you know, and so I have some erasing to do, flats to prepare, and then color to actually plan. <laughs> oh no, Rob. This is the, the naughty edition. Skyclad is just for Divinica. This is the naughty version for, um, Coffin Comics, but I have the Nips layer. If you can see, it's a group right there. I have it turned off because no can do on live stream. <clears throat> Hello, Chrissy Carson. All right, let's see if we can have both of them uh, open at the same time. So, uh, let's get this in here. Just opening up the file. All right, so I'm fixing the uh, line art to get it to align with the other version. So I have to like erase stuff and fit stuff together so that um, so that it all actually works. So here's the line art. I've turned off all the other layers because this is just a duplicated version of the of this one. So now I need to do a completely new color scheme and merge the uh, art together. I need the eraser tool. Kind of forgot to erase some of the previous layer before merging them so oops oops i have to fix a few things robert dean hello So 
we're going to get all up and close up close and personal with this hand here to clean it up i went over the lines going to thicken these lines a little bit especially because on this version I'm I might make her nails a little bit more of a darker color so I do want the I do want the lines to be there clearly Um, any tips? I guess just have patience and work relatively slowly. Um, of course, right now I am mega zoomed in. I use um, Copic Multi Liners to do my line art, and they're pretty clean. I actually, you know, used a pencil brush for this part right here, so not super clean, but oh well. That's why I'm here to fix it up. So I want this dress to be really, really sheer. Um, as such, I haven't deleted all of the lines underneath um, I don't know if if I'm planning to keep them all or not I mean I'm assuming not but still just leaving some of them for now because I do want the dress to be kind of like sheer gold and then with diamonds on it I know, they are <laughs> scary nails. Can't type with those, huh? I wouldn't last 10 minutes with nails that long. Okay, so I did go as fast as I possibly could to prepare this to go live with you guys. Um, and, you know, I wish I had gone faster still, but at least it's enough. And now we just need to do really quick flats. Hopefully it'll go fast. So what I'm going to do is just turn on the flats layer here. See, I've got to change a few things. So i um, just going to get this done as quickly as humanly possible. Oh shit, no wonder I'm on the wrong layer. I'm like, what is happening here? Okay, so I am going to fill all of these really fast, and then um, I need to make a layer to, um, no, not a layer, but I need to flat in all the strings and all that. So hopefully we can get this done pretty quickly. I don't want any of these anymore. No more beads.
Matthias, hello. I've got the hand as a different color so that so that I can um, color her hand even though it's touching her thigh I can color it separately getting that fixed all right so now um, I'm gonna do her dress and the jewelry That is too aligned. So like that was a tangent line where her hair was just far too close to the line of her top. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna fix that real quick. just needs to be over just a tiny tiny bit like that NDD yay thank you see you later Sheila Okay. So this is this is definitely uh, ugly color time, but um, let's just pick a random color for her dress. I already have her skin selected, I believe, and it's all one selection. So I should be fine there. Let me see. Not quite. Okay, so there's a couple things I need to fix, but that is fixable. <clears throat> if 
So I'm going to do the gold selection. See you later, Anthony. Oh, thank you, Thomas. See you later, Stanley. Thank you. Have a great week. Where's the rest of the link? What link? So I honestly don't really mind that I'm going outside the lines on some of the, the strings. Like that's no problem for me at all. I'm actually kind of happy about it, oddly enough, because it gives it a little bit more of that organic gold pieces kind of look. So I'm uh, coloring all of this stuff on its own layer so that I can quickly select it. I don't intend for it to stay red. I'm just doing that so I can see it. Um, it's going to be um, gold. So my plan is for all these strings to look like gold soft chain. So like not chain link chain, but some kind of very liquidy looking gold here.
After Dark, hello! Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad you think I have patience, Alan. That means a lot. So since I've been really pedal to the metal this weekend as far as this piece, I've made it through like I'm trying to think how many how many of the Marvel Universe movies I've made it through. I'm watching it on the on Disney Plus with the the timeline one. So like seeing it in correct timeline. I have skipped a couple. Captain Marvel, I didn't watch because, you know, not a huge fan of I have no particular reason, but I'm not a huge fan of the actress. So I didn't watch that one. Um, and then the, uh, the other one, the other two that I didn't watch was honestly just because I've loved them so much and I've watched them so many times. I've probably seen both Guardians of the Galaxy like 10 times each. So I sat there and I'm like, do I want to watch it again? Um, but I thought through the whole movie and I can literally almost replay the movie back to myself scene for scene. I really love them. So I was like, well, I'm really itching to get through the next movies that are in the thing, which I haven't seen as many times. I actually don't know if I've ever seen Civil War and that's the one that I'm on right now. Freaking love it. <laughs> so, so excited. Just started it. I've managed to watch the beginning scene and that's it. So because I had to stop and start get ready for live. But yes, I am having the time of my life. It's really fun. Painting inside the lines is so last Tuesday. It really is. I don't really know anything about all of that what the fan art I just watched a lot of the interviews and stuff and like they don't seem to get along there was like I don't know it just didn't look great you know so I watched it one time and then I'm like you know what whatever they it, they didn't have any team spirit between <laughs> the actors and so I was like well I guess you know not really part of the team Hello, Shamai. Yeah, we're doing great. Thank you. How are you?
first part was drawing them on, you know, you have to draw two lines to make one rope. And that was annoying, for sure. And then this is not even really coloring them yet. This is me preparing to color them. So yeah, it's, it's very, very tedious. I have to think many times before I decide to do these little stringies, but they can potentially look really great. And then other times they can look completely terrible. So uh, I'm hoping this is one of those they look awesome times. You know, crossing my fingers, because sometimes it doesn't work out that way. <laughs> so we'll see. We have high hopes right now. So what was everyone up to this weekend? I have told you what I was doing. I watched, I'm watching through the Marvel Universe timeline um so what were you up to anything fun yeah i still do watercolors it just depends on the project shamai so right now I'm working on a project that does call for digital colors. Um, and then I'll go back to watercolors next time, maybe. It just depends on the project. just need to name the layer. So this is the bead, no, gold string 2G. So that's for quick grab and I'm going to take this down here. I guess I'll put it above. Okay, stones I no longer need because that's not from this version. of soccer games and old TV shows. <laughs> Watch season two of episode of Stargirl and the What If se series on Disney. Cool, yeah, um, the What If series is kind of a little further down on the timeline than where I'm at, so I haven't seen that one yet. What the fan art, I really appreciate all of these tips. It's a little hard for me to focus on them during a live stream, but I'll try to go back and see what you mean. I have done these stroking, you know, you do the thick stroke, apply the stroke layer effect. I have done stuff like that. I don't particularly care for it. Um, it just doesn't look hand drawn, you know, so just a different um, different style, I suppose. Okay. Now I'm going to flat her dress on a separate layer as well so that I can have everything separate from the actual uh, skin tone. Absolutely. I totally get that for it's a trouble and time safer, saver and all of that stuff. Super cool. <laughs> for 
Friday, drank with a few friends. Saturday, Katie and I went to so see Free Guy. Oh, cool. Had sushi. Not awesome. Sunday, carne asada. So delicious. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you. to think about how I want to do this with the dress. Tornado, hello. I also received my sideshow one out of ten Deadpool and Omega Red. Ooh, have you posted it on Boop Squad yet, Juan? Can't wait to see. Unfortunately, because I want this on a separate layer, I'm having to go around her hair. It's Joe Hernando. Thank you, Steve. I know I was told that before. You have the sideshow, Little Mermaid. 
Rob gifted me one for Christmas. I love her so much. Thank you again, Rob. So thoughtful and kind and I am so grateful for her every day. Yeah, so sorry, Joker. So the handy part about this is that now, because I, I want the dress to be somewhat sheer, I have her skin underneath to work with. Okay, I'm going to name this layer dress. All right, so now we should be ready to start getting some coloring going on. So there is her skin layer. I put it on its own layer, and I've tried to be so careful to keep the layers separately and not have them all together. Oh wait, wrong layer. Let me take this up here. There's a few flats for me to get rid of. The gold string is up there. I don't need this anymore. I don't need her outfit anymore. So I'm just deleting some of the things I no longer need. Oops. Okay, what's that? Okay, those are the... Oh, right, so I'm gonna want the color layer from the other version. All right, we're gonna go to the other version because I mixed the background. Yes, okay. Control A, Control C. I'm gonna do a little thieving here. Does it work? There we go. Uh, Philip, Dan's still thinking about it. Okay. So, for anybody that has just joined in, this is the Naughty Patch version. I am working on doing the main version now. And I'm just stealing my background colors real quick. Get rid of, getting rid of that. And what is this? This is crack layers. Don't want those. not turn on those two layers. <laughs> drop shadows. Okay, so I don't want any of these drop shadows that are over, that are created from the brush tool, that are created from all the stones since those obviously aren't here anymore. So I'm going to get rid of all that. And I'll need to make new drop shadows from the um, from the what what is it called? I need to make new drop shadows from all of her necklaces and chains that she's wearing. But I can do that afterwards. Okay, skin sparkle. We've got. We don't want this clothes anymore, so I'm just getting rid of anything that we don't need for her dress version. Stone highlights. I do want the ones from her crown, but I don't want the rest, so I'm just deleting that. Erase, erase. OK, 
Okay, lips, lip shine, makeup, line art. All right. Color holds. I'm going to look at those ugly ass color holds. Woo! All right, so I'm just doing Control Alt G that groups the color holds onto the line art and they only show up there. Opportune J, hello! Okay, yeah, Stan's birthday is coming up soon. Yes, so Joker, I do a flats layer and then um, do the coloring separately. So the flats make it so that I can select everything quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna erase this because I may want to keep some of the, not the color scheme, but some of the shadows and highlights that I did on the, the crown. So that's why I'm keeping some of those colors right now. Stone highlights. I might want to have matte lips for her. We'll see. Okay. So first things first, let's uh, get the gold string. So control click, perfect. All right, we're going to go to here. No, we're gonna do a layer that's just gonna be filling it with foreground color hide all right so we've got that in there now and then I also want to get her dress color so I'm gonna go back and get her dress control click all right and shift F5 filling it with foreground color looks terrible right now we will fix that Hey, Rob, that is not fair. <laughs> mean. All right, so this version, I would like to have more of a classic look to it. Um, you know, think gold and diamonds, regular, you know, stained glass window coloring. So I went a little, you know, off book coloring for this one. Um, and that's just because it's the alternate version. It's just something new to look at, right? But this one we're gonna go more classic. So I'm gonna make, you know, the walls in the background. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Uh, the candles though will be, you know, typical candle, warm light glow, all of that stuff will be done on this version. Um, so I need to start thinking about her crown. So I had a bright red ruby crown that I was working on a while ago, and then I stopped having that one. And I'm not entirely sure if I feel like bringing it back or not. Um, I might just do diamonds and uh, gold. So it's just the gold and diamond version. So I think we're going to start with gold and diamonds. So like on this one, because it's gonna be a much warmer light, let's try changing the color of the... Oh wow, that's a lot. So I'm changing the color of her um, the glow that I have on Lady Death to more of a yellow 
golden light. So now she's shining a little bit more gold than in the other version where the color toning on her skin is purple. Um, so that should help tie the room together. Okay, am I missing things? They're going to Chuck E. Cheese, oh I see. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to power through hard on this piece and get it finished because uh, I'm really hoping to sh ship it off tomorrow. Uh, I don't mean to be ignoring you guys. <laughs> oh, okay, so we're running into an issue. I'm gonna turn off the color holds for now. because I'm gonna need to do, all right, so what needs to happen right now is control G. I'm gonna turn off all other layers and we are going to do the color holds real quick. to turn off swatches so all color layers need to be off and I need to do a new color holds on the line art so we're gonna go to channels control click the blue invert all right I'm gonna make a new line art file all right and we're gonna do fill edit fill with 100% black there we go. Delete that one. I had, by accident, I had a couple uh, white lines on the other one, so like my line art wasn't perfectly clean anymore. So I'm just gonna rename this. Line art. And now the color holds should actually work. Control, Control Alt G. Hello, casual hero. Welcome to the stream. All right. Now let's go back to turning all of this on. Shadows, things purple, dress. Okay, don't need those strings. Deleting things from the old Cover. Dress. Ah, I'm going to have to redo her hair glow. Yeah, so these are all the layers from the previous version. Whoops. So these are all the layers from the pre previous version that I'm no longer using. So I'm just getting rid of all of that stuff that is no longer applicable to this one. So these, all this stuff down here is my quick selections and my flats. And then here are the actual colors. All right. 
So there's a few little places I'm going to need to fill in. And we can start working on some of the color holds so that we don't end up with these really dark lines that don't look super good for um, the gold. So I'm just going to get one of my swatches for the gold. Thank you, Mr. E. Thank you guys so much for always being there with all of the um, spammers. You guys are amazing and I so appreciate it. Yep, well done. This is a little bit too light a color. There's usually another one that follows. So like they, they come as a two for one deal. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to coloring all this gold. I really want this gold thread to, to be super shiny and sparkly and just have a real luxurious queenly appearance to it. So the whole the whole premise of this cover is Lady Death Queen. Um, so I'm giving her the crown and all of that and I really want this to be just diamond encrusted to the nines gold under like the I want diamonds encrusted onto gold is my plan for the dress. So it's going to be sparkly AF and golden and basically just as pretty as I can get it. I'm gonna do my best here, but I'm excited about the gold. It should look really pretty if I can pull it off. At least what I see in my head looks decent. <laughs> if I can make it look that way in real life, yay!
why we man the gates. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so very much. check something over here if I missed I did so I'm noticing some color hold mistakes on my main version and I am seeing that they're also appearing over here so that needs to be fixed I'll notice things like this where like I made a mistake with the color holds or something once the cover is out and oh my god it'll haunt me forever so it's when I see it I need to fix it or I'm gonna forget again and then we have a very bad situation And I think, yep, I missed some color holds over here. We did away with the whole site about a year ago. Oh, that's cool, Dr. Dark. Working on skin color holds and hair color holds right now. <laughs> yeah, whoever was running that, that board that you were modding <laughs> needs to be fired, Rob.
welcome to the stream today. So a lot of times when I know what color I'm going to do something, I'll fix the color holds right away uh, just because otherwise it drives me crazy. Stealing my swatch again. Gotta come prepared for this stuff. <laughs> Only Juan is never allowed to return. Poor Juan. So sad. Dawn is so mean. I'm going to have to recolor a couple parts. There's nothing I can do with the fact that the stones are no longer here. The beads are no longer sticking out over here. So yeah, there's going to be some fixie fixies for me to do. Not the end of the world. Can be done. I need to check over here. It looks like I missed a color hold. I did. This is handy. Just switch over and fix all the things that need fixing. Yay, yay! I'm going to fix something in the body glow. Be a little bit softer. Because the flats are not particularly clean or soft and so sometimes when I do these like shadow or outline glows they can look a little funky if not done correctly or cleaned up nicely they don't look so good especially along the edges so I'm just going to go around and give those a little bit of a clean up. This is the noodling. I expect to be mocked, but I don't know. To me, it's very important that shit like this does not look like a mess. Let's soften these lines here. And I want the strings to show through again, so I'm just going to fix that. Oh no, I need to sneeze. 
<laughs> Noodling and F-bombs are the second and third reasons I show up to Dawn streams. Thank you. <laughs> It's just editing with digital. Wow, that's nice. Color hold, H-O-L-D. So it's to um, colorize the line art. Don't think we're mocking you. I think we just don't understand how you can keep going. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. Thank you, Steve. Even if you are mocking me, that's totally okay. All right, so I've been fixing up some little things around the line art. And, you know, as I notice more, I'll come back and fix more. Uh, let's go back to, let's save. Save break. Some of us are poking fun at Dawn. <laughs> Fair enough. I can take it for sure. I don't hate this color scheme. I'm really in a, you know, whatever the color is, that's right in between blue and purple. So if you went a little tiny bit more one way or the other, it would be fully blue, fully purple, but I like the right in the middle. And so I'm really into it right now. And so of course this one is skewing a little bit more purple. I might make the candles more blue though, trying to decide. Sorry, for anybody that cracking knuckles is irritating, I apologize, I do it all the time. Kiwi Raid, hello! Welcome everyone, thank you so much for the raid! Yay, let me go uh, open Twitch. I should have had this, um, I should have had Twitch open already, I apologize. That's a fail, <laughs> I kind of forgot. <laughs> So how was your live stream? Thank you so much, Stress Kiwi, and everyone who came with them on their stream. Have I followed you already? I better check and make sure. Yeah, your stream was good. I'm so happy to hear it. Please feel free, you were working on a chibi, nice. Please feel free to post all of your links, Stressed Kiwi. It'll be great to see um, what you were working on. Uh, we played some Gardic phone at the end. I don't know what that is, but it sounds fun. Oh, Mama Bear Mochi. I love your name. Thank you for the follow. 
and nonsense i dr128 thank you guys so much for the follows oh gardic phone is like telephone but with art oh fun so anyway please uh post some of your links oh i'm gonna give you a follow i guess i wasn't following you already i love the work that you were doing the chibi looks so cute nicely done Okay, so I'm just going to go back to Photoshop. See you later, Alan. Have a wonderful evening and a fantastic week. Have a good night. Thank you, Edson. Have a wonderful night yourself. I'm so sorry if I missed you saying goodbye. Okay, so I'm going back to the main version. Oh yeah, I don't use Twitter at all, so I don't blame you for not keeping it updated. So Mogi, good evening, welcome to the stream. Everybody please go follow Stressed Kiwi and take a look at the Twitter if you have a Twitter. I don't even have one installed, I'm sorry. I, uh, I stopped using it. I think Sakimi-chan is a girl. I'm not good at Twitter, but a follow is a pretty appreciated. I'm a new artist, been drawing for three to four months now. That is so awesome. Somo is fine. It is in Hungarian. I don't want to torture foreigners with pronunciation. <laughs> I'm studying every day off stream. Really impressive stressed Kiwi. Anyway, Dr. Dark, yes, I am familiar with their work and do follow them. They are awesome. All right, let's start trying to change some color schemes around in here. So I think we are going for gold on the candle holders. So Copper isn't horrible. moment I'm studying deconstruction of the head <laughs> all right let's get the um, 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 um. yeah 
yes, the candles. Let's change the candle color real quick. Much more is going to have to be tweaked and worked on. It's not just a matter of doing a color slider, but at least this is a, it's a start. It's a start and then we'll, we'll work with it. We can do this. And hopefully we can do this in not too much time. So the, the candles actually look a little bit more weird than they should because the, the line art is colored purple right now. So the color holds are throwing everything off a little bit, but that will be fixed too. Thank you, Philip. All right, let's get the color of the flames. So I want that to be yellow. Okay. Work in progress, everyone. <laughs> All right. And then background colors. Mm hmm. Let's just see if we can do it all uniform, uniform change. So I've just got all the windows selected. My quick selection grabs are fantastic. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10. Sometimes it's, it's nice to try these like quick color selections just because of the interesting things that happen when you just Pull the hue saturation slider back and forth. It, sometimes it really surprises you and turns out really nice. <laughs> Thank you, Zane. Oh, lol, Rob. All right, let's start working on the dress for a minute. So we can, I don't know, flats fuck with my head. What? They do not compute sometimes. So. Um, no, today is going to be, um, little bit different we're doing um, we're doing um, what is it it's like chicken breasts but they're like buffalo wing flavored chicken breasts and then uh, fries I think yeah it's really cool Dan is making them So let's see, if we set this to multiply, what does that look like? So it's picking up some of her color. Ah, but it's picking up that too. I don't know if I like that. Hmm. Okay, 
Okay, that works a little bit more. There's a few things I want to fix with her skin then. So like these shadows really worked before, but they do not work now. Let's turn off the skin sparkle. Okay. Let's turn off her skin glow. We're gonna work on her skin for a second. Lasagna and a pork chop, eclectic mix of leftovers. Nice. <laughs> leftovers work. Hello, Zero Charisma. Welcome to the stream. I just need to take those intense lines down. Not necessary here anymore. We're doing great, thank you. How are you? All right, so I have the dress set to multiply. So what it's doing is it's picking up some of the shadows that I already you know, spent some time and effort to place in there. So it is kind of nice that I can use some of the shadows already there, and then I can do another layer on top or something like that to um, add more to the dress. Yes, Jeff, we are live. Welcome to the stream. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the dress layer again one more time because I feel like this area looks a little odd. Now her dress is gonna have its own folds in the cloth and all of that. So I shouldn't, I probably don't need to worry as much as I am about the, um, about the shading here, but it's, it's nice to have it done right, hopefully. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. I thought that part looked a little funny to me. Oops, I'm in the wrong layer and I've just been coloring away. Just bringing the highlights over a little bit more. We wouldn't need as much shadow here because she's wearing a dress now. She's not, you know, nude up up here. No, thank you so much, Zero. Okay, what I mean is that she uh, is wearing a dress. It's not panties so I don't need to show so much division between the 
thighs and wow there's no way I can fix everything that's that I'm saying <laughs> I keep trying to like make it sound more professional but yeah I give up <laughs> Divinica has joined the slideshow yes <laughs> Good enough for now. All right. Now I need to uh, start putting in more contrast and then we need to do sparkle somehow. And I have in my rough sketch, um, I'm think I was planning to do like all the, you know, the V-neck on her shirt and then the slit on either side of her thighs is where I'm gonna just encrust it to death with diamonds. So that is still the plan. Um, I know, right, Steve? And there's just literally no way I can fix <laughs> fix that and make it sound better. <laughs> I'm coloring the thing next to the thing. Yes, exactly. <laughs> hmm. I still have it halfway in my mind. To try. Well, no, I don't know. I guess diamonds is just more appropriate. Yeah, for now, we're going to go for diamonds. And I'm probably going to use more like of, of a randomized encrusted, like, you know, I did the, the stones all in a row over here. And then if there are any more sparkly stuff, it's kind of, you know, on these random strings that I decided to add, we don't know why. Um, but in the other one, I'm going to just do like straight up encrusted all along the edges and not in such a like neat formation. <laughs> oh yes, for sure, Rob. Absolutely. Ooh, I selected everything all at once. That's fantastic. Okay. Let's start getting some fun color going on in here and a bit more contrast. So I've selected kind of this dark, little bit ugly brown color, but um, hopefully that's going to bring out the contrast. And honestly, I'm, what I'm planning is for it to, you know, make the, the whole thing have, you know, like satin almost, how it has that look to it where it almost looks like liquid gold a little bit. Now that may be just too much for, for one dress where it's like a satin dress with fucking diamonds all over it. So if it ends up looking weird, I'll tone it down for sure. But I was kind of thinking that satiny, metallic almost appearance to the cloth and then, you know, add the diamonds on top of it just because we are going full decadence here. We'll see how it goes. See how it looks. I have a question. When you get art commissions like Comic Storybook, do you get paid right away or get a percentage on sales once it puts on the market? That really depends on the publisher and what uh, agreement you have. There are many different methods of payment uh, as far as, you know, percentages, sales, uh, you know, payment up front, it really, it really just depends on whatever agreement you happen to have. <laughs> Zane got it. 
And guys, thank you all so much. Those of you that have um, taken part in the Divinica launch sale, your support means so, so, so much to J.P. Roth and I. We know it is not a new book out right now, but a lot of these books have been out of print for so long. And then soon we will have new books, which I'm so excited about. By next week, I will be at 500 F-bombs. Yeah, probably. <laughs> if I started streaming, you both would have your work cut out for you as far as the F-bomb counter. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. E. I don't like any of those. So I want to start doing some shadows the dress, but we'll just have to see how those look, I guess. to toss the pillowcase I was folding to the side. <laughs> So I do want to have, you know, some cloth. Yeah, I, I need to get the folds in the cloth right for here. So that they look nice. But let's try some shine. I'm sure that gold covers have been done plenty. All right, so I don't know if I want that much highlight on it yet, due to the fact that I'm gonna be relying quite a bit on the sparkle to make her, um, 
her dress have that highlight and contrast so I probably shouldn't get too into doing all this sparkly stuff even though it is kind of fun actually might be a good chance for me to test out a few things with her dress. Hmm, I might actually want to take this part of the dress and make it shorter. Like move that over like that and then just have all the cloth kind of... Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna move the line art and ruche that up a little bit possibly ruch that up over here too. Fifteen chickens. All right, thank you. <laughs> I know I'm late, stopping in for a few minutes. Thank you so much, Matthew. Say we did something kind of like this. Now this dress, I've made it look too much like latex. Um, which we don't want because we're gonna have to, I'm gonna need to figure out exactly how to color diamond because I don't know that I've really tried that before, but you know, there's one way to learn. <laughs> Do it. So um, I'm gonna work on that. But yeah, I wanna change the way that I've got her dress here. I don't like the way that line kind of follows and flows on her body. I think it kind of ruins uh, the way that her her body looks. It's kind of, I don't know, it's giving her a weird, give it, giving her a weird vibe that I'm not really here for. <laughs> See you later, Dr. Dark, have a good one. Let's try a little bit darker. You guys know I feel a little bit more comfortable when I've done a few test runs on colors. So this is actually, this works for me to do kind of a rough on the color as it were. Sure is what the fan art. I can't help it. I'm gonna take the opacity down a little bit, maybe the hardness down a little bit. Yep, winging it time. But trying out this to see if my theory of kind of what might look nice is correct. Okay, I'm just gonna save where I'm at right now. I'm gonna go with, it'll look nice. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. It's not that kind of cover, Jeff Priora, Proya, but it's a fun idea. Mm 
Okay. Rough sketch. Do we like? It's probably a little bit more high contrast than it needs to be. But again, we're just working with a rough right here, trying out some fun concepts. All right. So I do know I want to move that. And then I want to work on, I need to change her crown color and I need to add in um, diamonds. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that, but I will learn. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Keeman. No, oh, this is my sketch for a gold dress. See, because like this is partially from the other version, partially moved over, so it should have coherence like this one. Hopefully. I seem to get it there. So I have tomorrow that I can color this as well. I uh, let Brian know that it was probably going to be uh, with him by Monday. So fingers crossed that I can get it, um, get it done correctly and get it done tomorrow. Thank you, Rob. That is incredibly kind of you. Mm. I'm not impressed yet, but I know I can keep working on it and get there. Actually, I'm never impressed. Sometimes though, we have happy accidents. Maybe we can hope for a happy accident. <laughs> Some kind of surprisingly good thing to happen. Wouldn't that be great? So let's just go ahead and delete that real quick. Let's just do an erase. And see if that looks better. I kind of think that it does. I think, you know, then I'll give it maybe a little bit more. Yeah, something kind of like that. What? If we do something kind of like that, and then it sort of cuts into the dress, or cuts into her thigh a little bit, so that it looks a little bit more ruched and nice. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry about that. <laughs> they could just. Just make them all prints. They could be impressed on my wall. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so something kind of like that. We'll just have it flow into a nice decent sized slit. select so I can work with this a little bit better and then this leg is covered like that that works <laughs> so sweet they can be impressed on my wall nice hey Devin how's your weekend going I hope it's been good all right so I'm just gonna save this where it's at now. Honestly, I'm happy with the amount of progress that actually happened today. You know, that's more than usual. I guess, like you guys said, I wasn't being very talkative. So I guess it's one or the other, huh? Sorry, everyone. But this one is pretty much finished. We've got ourselves our sparkly. This is the naughty version. Her nips are turned off currently so that I don't get in trouble. 
Uh, this one, I'm going more for classic color scheme. I have not brought in the diamonds and the red roses right now. They are orange because I tried to change them from this version. So um, I'm gonna work on color harmony. Um, it's gonna be diamonds and gold and just, you know, your more classic cathedral style color scheme here. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. <laughs> Hi, Gareth. How's it going? Thank you, guys. I will do my best to make them as nice as possible. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on this live stream. You are awesome. Oh, thank you, Jeff. I appreciate the support. Giant shout out to you for going to my website. Thank you very much. See you later, Luis. Never knew you had an identical twin who lived here in New Mexico. Neither did I. <laughs> okay, so um, on Twitch, let's go raid someone. I have five minutes. I definitely think that a raid can happen. Um, let's see, what? Let's go to my channel. There we go. See you later, Jeff. Have a good one. All right, let's go raid. Skygian is on. Creature Mass Madness. Who did we raid last time? Anybody have any suggestions? See you later, Joker. Have a good one. Any suggestions? Any suggestions? Sexy Demon Lord Commission. All right, I'm just taking a quick look. See you later, Steve. Oh, it looks like everybody is heading out. Time for dinner, I'm out, good night. Thank you all so much, I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, okay. Yeah, all right. We'll just head out tonight and go, uh, we'll raid someone later on. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you have a wonderful evening, a fantastic week. Thank you so much, everybody on Facebook for the shares and comments. They help a lot. Yep, everybody needs food. <laughs> so we'll run and have food. Have a fantastic